we welcome everyone today to the anointing water prayer at the good news church whoever's doing the switching and so we welcome everybody once again to the anointing water prayer at the united states the anointing water is what prophet tb joshua has given to us to pray for people this anointing water is sanctified by the holy spirit because it was prayed for by prophet tb joshua and it was commissioned to be used as a medium for god to move it's not the anointing water that heals but it's jesus christ since the anointing is done in his name in the past god has used mediums like the rod of moses god has used mediums like the peter's um, shadow paul's handkerchief the saliva of jesus the pool the water of bethesda and in this day and age the holy spirit is using the anointing water to set people apart for his purpose and to meet them at the point of their need as you are going to receive prayer today we ask you that you open up your heart and know this that the anointing of the holy spirit is working in the spiritual world to bring the change in your life the first area where you must succeed is in your spiritual life and right now through this medium believe that the holy spirit will bring the change in your spiritual life in a spiritual world that the things will be broken and once they are your physical things are going to change amen so with that said i want you to open up your heart right now and let's pray this simple prayer and let's ask the holy spirit to come into your heart today in jesus name i want you to say lord jesus open my heart to your word lord jesus open my heart to your spirit and lord jesus open my heart to your faith in jesus name amen Amen. Be ready to receive today in Jesus name. Jesus working in the spirit as the evangelist is praying for this woman through the medium of the anointing water. We know that all the power in heaven and on earth has been invested to the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it's by his name that every single chain in our lives are broken. And it's by his name that every sickness is healed. Every disease is cured. And we can trust in the reliable name of Jesus Christ. As the prayer line continues, we ask that all of you remain in an attitude of faith. As these people have come here from far and wide to receive a touch from heaven, you too can receive that same touch by simply connecting yourself in faith to what you see happening here in the anointing water prayer line this morning. Simply reach out in faith because faith is our connection to Jesus Christ. see right now there's a battle going on between light and darkness we truly know that where the light of God is that no darkness can prevail that darkness has no hiding place where the light of God is and today we see that light expelling and exposing every single shade of darkness in the lives of each person who has come here today Jesus lives he never said goodbye 
The age of miracles has not passed. He never stopped healing. He never stopped delivering. And he never stopped setting the captives free. And this morning, we're seeing that very truth being made manifest this morning during this anointing water prayer line. So continue to connect yourself in faith, believing that Jesus Christ is able to meet you at the point of your need. Wherever you are today, you can receive from God because distance is truly not a barrier. You can receive from him this morning. So connect yourself in faith because faith is the heavenly currency. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And those who come to him must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And we know that faith is the transformative power of the universe. It's the power of change. The change from darkness to light, from yoke to deliverance, from poverty to prosperity. In Jesus' name. So get connected in faith. now what you're witnessing is this man is not at ease with himself as the spirit of God begins to touch his life removing and expelling every single agent of darkness that has been controlling his life in Jesus name you can see that where the light of God is that truly no darkness can prevail darkness has no hiding place and anything that is not of God must submit to the power that is in the name Jesus you can see right now that that name Jesus is working through the Spirit of God to remove every single shade of darkness out of this man's life. To him. What have you done to him? 
What did you do? What have you done to him? Speak out clearly. What have you done to him? What have you done to him? You don't clean spirit. What have you done to CJ? from the top of your head to the soles of your feet fire of the holy ghost in jesus mighty name fire of the holy ghost in jesus mighty name fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ from the top of your head to the soles of your feet fire 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 of the holy ghost in jesus mighty name fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus christ fire of the holy ghost in jesus mighty name fire of the holy ghost out of every part of your body of his body right now out in jesus name out in Jesus' mighty name. Loosen right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Fire. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Every darkness. You have no hiding place right now. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Every trace of darkness. Out of this body in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out. Out. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out. Every unclean spirit. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out of him in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness. Loose this grip right now in the name of Jesus. You are going. This is not your temple. This is not your body. This is the body. A temple of the Holy Spirit right now. Come out of him in Jesus' mighty name. Every trace of darkness. I speak the light of God to come anywhere where there is the darkness right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Through Christ right now be free in Jesus' name. Through Christ be healed right now in Jesus' name. And through Christ receive breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere where there is darkness, let there be light right now in Jesus' name. Anywhere where there is darkness, let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere where there is darkness, let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. Because of Christ, be free in Jesus' name. Because of Christ, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. Because of Christ, we declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. How are you feeling, CJ? Great. Huh? Great. What were you feeling just a little bit ago? What was going on? I don't know. I was tingly everywhere. And fire, definitely. I felt pumped. <laughs> Be free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. What you just witnessed right now was the healing power of God delivering this young man from an evil spirit that had caused sickness in his life. And as you can see, for the glory of God, that he had said, thank you, Jesus. Because truly, thank you, Jesus, is the response of a happy heart, of a free heart. So we give God the glory this morning. And as you can see, the Spirit of God is still moving among us as he continues to expose and expel every single agent of darkness that is working in the lives of the people who have come here today to receive prayer with the anointing water. God can use any medium to express himself. In the Bible, we know that Jesus Christ used handkerchiefs, the shadow of his apostles, to heal and deliver those who were in their midst. And we know that Jesus Christ is still using different mediums to heal and deliver people and to set the captives free. And this morning, we see that Jesus Christ is using the medium of the anointing water to set the captives free, to bring healing where there was sickness, to bring breakthrough where there was bondage, to bring deliverance where there was yoke. So we give God the glory this morning. We thank him for what he is doing right now.
жестким предпринимателем Василий Кравц. What you're witnessing right now is the real, authentic, and forceful power of God in action through the medium of the anointing water as the evangelist prays in the power of the Holy Spirit. You can see that name, Jesus Christ, working through the power of the Spirit. Because the Bible says that the name of Jesus is the name above all names. And that at that name, every knee will bow. So every sickness, every disease, every setback, every limitation must bow to the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we can put our trust in that name. We can put our hope in that name. For Jesus Christ is truly the hope of our salvation. You can see the healing power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ right now working as the evangelist continues to pray for this young woman in the power of the Holy Spirit.
Amen. This young woman has just been declared free. So let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. I want those of you who are standing here, I want you to say that I am saved. I am saved. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Savior. Say, I am, I am healed. Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my healer. Say, I am, I am delivered. Jesus is my deliverer. Say, so my past is over. I am redeemed. I am justified. I am no longer condemned. Defeat and failure are things of the past. I'm a new creation. I can do what God says I can do. I am who God says I am. And I will do what God says I will do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.